Over here, you can see that I got four slides and by default, the duration for each slide is four seconds. So if I were to play this, you can see that after four seconds, it changes to the next slide. In order to change the time duration, you can click on the timer duration right here and increase the length just like this. So eight seconds over here, click on this. So let's say I want this for around 16 seconds. For this one, let's say I want around over seven seconds. And for this one, let's say I want around uh, 10 seconds, just like that. Once I do that, I can press the play button. And you can see that the total duration is about 40 seconds right here, just like that. Now, over here, you might have noticed something that I cannot keep a slide more than for over 16 seconds, uh, not 16, but over 30 seconds, because that's the limit. So let's say if I want to keep a slide for around one minute, what shall I do then? So that's a trick for that. I can actually go over here onto the slide I want to keep for a longer period of time and I can duplicate the slide. So if I were to duplicate the slide, now I have a total of one minute of slide right here. And if I were to duplicate this again, now I have one minute and 30 seconds of the same slide. So now if I were to play this out, you can see that the total duration is uh, one minute and 54 seconds. And you see that that slide appears for over one minute and 30 seconds without transitions. So that is how you can work with duration inside of Adobe Spark. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.